To the I team now. The crime rocked the small community of Raven County. They all had the same question. How could anyone steal from the Special Olympics? Now, Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis says they're now asking a different question. Will their program ever recover? Randy? That's right, Russ and Courtney. We reported back in 2020 how Raven County Special Olympics treasurer Melody Queen stole roughly $24,000, money that was raised through bake sales and fundraisers to help special needs athletes uh, compete. Well, Queen has now been sentenced, but some say the crime is still not over. When we met former Special Olympics athlete Kim Roberts and her family at Lake Lanier earlier this month, Mom Pat was already in the Christmas mood. This one's special. <laughs> well, I am so thankful you brought this along. They are. All are, all are always special. A cream cheese pound cake. Some people that buy it, they like to fry it. Just like the hundreds of others Pat made over the years to raise money for Special Olympics in Raven County. It's been hard to make them since then. Ever since a woman ever Everyone in Raven County thought they knew, admitted stealing from a program they thought she loved. Melody Queen forged dozens of checks drawn on the Raven County Special Olympics account, paid to cash. Total amount stolen, around $24,000. When she finally resigned, the account had a balance of less than a dollar. We tried talking to Queen after her arrest. Hey, it's Randy Travis with Fox 5. I don't have time for you. What I'm happened sorry. to all the cash? What did you spend all the cash on? We just want to find out what you did with all the money from the Special Olympics. Just slow down for a second and talk to it. Once she was caught in 2020, Queen quickly paid back the money, but not to the Raven County chapter. She gave the money to the state organization, and that's where this crime continues to claim more victims. At first, the state Special Olympics didn't want to prosecute, worried it would cast a negative light on the program. But DA George Christian said no. This was just one of those cases where you just couldn't walk away from it and say, oh, well, she paid the restitution back. That's enough. She needed to be held criminally responsible. She needed to be in court to say, I'm guilty, I'm sorry. Because she had never been in trouble before, Queen was sentenced to five years probation, plus ordered to write this apology letter to Kaylin Cuddy. She's the fellow board member whose signature Queen forged. But an apology can't bring back a program. It's still just a sad, sad situation that, you know, the organization had to shut down. Cuddy says the Georgia Special Olympics now limits participation in Raven County to athletes 21 years or younger. That eliminates her sister Kim, who spent most of her life competing in out-of-town events, partly funded by all those bake sales. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking to see my special athletes working at Ingalls, and that's all they've got in their life now. But Sister Kim, who once competed at the Olympic venue here at Lake Lanier, doesn't see the joy anymore. I don't want to never be in Special Olympics again. In an email, a spokesman for the Georgia Special Olympics says the money stolen by Melody Queen is in a bank account reserved for Special Olympics Raven County, with 16 athletes currently in the program. He would not comment on why older participants are apparently no longer allowed. Happy pictures like these, no longer possible. You thought she was your friend, didn't you? I, I did, but I didn't think she would never ever do that. Take all the money from us. So we won't be able to have no um, Special Olympics at all in Raven County. In her apology letter, Queen mentioned the impact on the adult athletes not being able to participate in the Special Olympics and said, quote, I'm very sorry to hear this. Queen also wrote she never intended for this to hurt anyone, but clearly it has. Mm, do, do we have any idea what she spent that stolen money on? I asked uh, DA George Christian uh, that, and he, he said that he really couldn't put a finger on anything you know, elaborate, uh, frivolous. He just said it looks like she was starting to have money problems back in 2019. By the way, part of her sentence is that she's not allowed to ever work in a job that involves money. When this money was stolen, she was working at a bank and wow. signing these checks and forging um, a, another person's name on there to, to cash those checks. Yeah. Well, you can certainly see how much this hurts Kim and Pat Roberts. Mm -hmm. How was that pound cake? It's delicious, Russ. <laughs> I can understand why it was so popular. She was selling yeah. for $20, $30 uh, you know, a loaf and made a ton of money for that program. Unfortunately, the people that she thought she was helping are not being helped anymore. Yeah, and that's too bad. Yeah, All sure right. is. Randy, thanks. Thanks, Randy.